Welcome back to the channel. I'm Scotty G, back at it again, and today we're going to talk about a doozy. Maybe just a little bit heavy, but it's something that we need to talk about. I recently watched a show on Netflix about the dangers of the internet, and it's worth talking about. I think most people understand the dangers of social media by now. Not everybody understands it, but some are obvious, but some are not obvious. There's problems all over the board, plus social media is a great thing for the most part, as long as it's used wisely and used in a, in a positive way. But I want to focus on my genre of content with this particular episode. I've been heavily involved in online relationship groups for about five years now, give or take, and this particular problem exists everywhere. And what I'm talking about is confirmation bias. Conservative groups, liberal groups, polarity groups, they can almost become kind of cult-like and can be dangerous for a lot of people that aren't open thinkers. And that's what we want to that's what we want to focus on here. And it's funny because my group probably has added to that. <laughs> so with, uh, with my content, I try to keep it real. Uh, I'm a realist. I am not a zealot. Not everybody's marriage material. Not everybody's going to get married. Not everybody wants to get married. But a lot of my material is focused on just being a better human being in general. Are there other groups out there like mine? Probably. Most likely. But it seems to me that there's a lot of people out there selling snake oil. They're not real. They're looking to sell packages and try to make money doing this. That's not what I want to do with this, with this, with this channel or with my material. I want to be real with you, genuine and authentic. What you see is what you get. One of the reasons I formed marriage isn't dead was to provide a necessary outlet for people looking to better themselves and their relationships at the same time. That's essentially my goal, but there's a lot of caveats within that. And that's my niche. I've been coaching people for quite a while now, and it's very rewarding and very validating. But uh, I have noticed that sometimes people put you up on a pedestal when they shouldn't. Honestly, I mess up. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. My wife isn't perfect. My family isn't perfect. But what we are are people that enjoy our company and we can get along pretty well. And even after a fight or something bad that happens, uh, we find a common ground and we move on and we grow together. That's the key. But regardless of what I've just said, online material groups, social media, it seems to be a place where the negative Eeyores, the trolls, you see them everywhere. You see the negativity everywhere. And really the internet really can bring the worst out on people. When you're not posting your name, you have a username and you can hide behind a monitor and a keyboard. It can bring the worst out on people. Listen to me. The negative people are just the loudest people. There are a lot of good people out there. If you think everyone is terrible, everyone is a troll, everyone is negative, stick around. I got plenty of content for you. I try to keep it positive, but I try to keep it real too. In my group online, Marriage Isn't Dead, private group, take a look at it. It's free. It has a lot of these people that I'm talking about. Positive people, similar mindsets, but they're also real. <laughs> there's quite a few of them that will keep me accountable as well. And they're all over the world. They're really awesome people. And I really appreciate the support. So I formally invite you to join if you're struggling. It's free to play. So let's talk about confirmation bias. That's the, that's the name of the game today. So what's the definition of confirmation bias? The tendency to interpret new evidence as confirmation of one's existing beliefs or theories. What does that mean? That's a lot of uh, gobbledygook, right? Most people have their own perceptions and they look for data to match their beliefs. That's confirmation bias in a nutshell. You have a tendency to see what you want to see and ignore the rest of the data sets to, to fit your narrative. And it's a huge problem on the internet and social media. 
and in groups like relationship groups, psychology groups, most of them are guilty of this. I am a scientist. I am a doctor. Science is about replicating a result given certain parameters. So it's a replicatable result. Science is based around a, a hypothesis, a questionable statement that can be replicated over time. So why do I mention that? Well, psychology and relationship material is essentially, it's a pseudoscience. A lot of it is based on surveys. So with science, if you hold a boulder in one hand and a pebble in another hand and you drop it at the same time, they're going to hit the ground at the same time. That's science. That's repeatable. When it comes to relationship and psychology material, if you have a survey of one particular group, most likely you're not going to be able to replicate the result that you get elsewhere. So it makes for a huge opportunity for bias to emerge. All you have to do as a person is find data, quote unquote, to support your beliefs. And all of a sudden, you're going to solidify what you think is true when it not necessarily is true. Maybe it's pseudo true. Maybe a little bit of it, of it is true. And you take it as solid evidence. So why is this a problem on the internet? Well, you can literally find people all over the world who agree with you and everything that you believe and everything that you think. You can find any group at any time all over the world. Name your conspiracy theory and you're going to find a group to validate your thinking. So what do you do about it? Here's your actionable advice. Live your life in reality. Unplug. Get away from the keyboard. Live your life in reality in the real world. The darker the room, the darker you're, you're possibly going to be in your mind. Get out in the sunlight. Get out there and, and live your life. That's number one. And number two, stay open-minded. The key is to have your own ideals, your own way of thinking, and choose to read something, look for something else or another group that's possibly not agreeing with you, and add to the, the ideas of others to your own way of thinking. Different perspectives is a good thing. That's a great thing. If you surround yourself with people that think the same thing over and over, you're not going to grow as a human being. Invite people into your life that have differing opinions. Take the good and leave the bad. But the key is to have your own set of ideals to begin with. Who are you? Where do you come from? What do you want to learn about? Those are all legit questions. Number three, use your reason to question what you hear. Question everything. But don't close your mind off to other perspectives. Very difficult to do. I get it. It's difficult to do. So by listening to my material, this episode, if you've applied your own reason to what I'm giving you now, I'm proud of you. It's a good thing. You don't have to believe everything that I'm saying. You don't have to believe everything that someone else is saying. Take the good from the bad. Develop a BS filter when absorbing new material. If you think something's wrong, it's all good. Discard it. Don't take something that someone is saying as gospel. Question everything. That's being a scientist in general. Question everything. And if it's repeatable and if it makes sense to you, you're learning. You're growing. I'm proud of you. So that's number three. Number four Apply your own experience to the material you consume. Have you seen it work in real life? Do you have evidence that something is true? Apply your own experience to that material. Does it make sense? And number five, join my group, Marriage Isn't Dead, private group on Facebook, uh, and subscribe to this channel and to my material on podcasts and get notified of my content. If you like what you see, like, share, and subscribe.
I'll be here for a very long time. I just started this channel just a few months ago. Things are going great. I really appreciate your support for those who have already supported me. Buckle up, Buttercup. Uh, I'm going to be around a long time, and uh, I'm very passionate about this message. I have seen the worst in people online, and it doesn't bother me anymore. The Eeyores are who they are. I'm willing to help you if you have a negative mindset or a victim mindset, if you're willing to, to learn. And like I said, I'm not perfect. Question me. It's all good. You know, I love a debate. If you can back up what you think, let's do it. <laughs> the, the ironic thing here is I'm using social media to get this word out. So uh, I'm trying to keep it positive. I'm trying to be that positive message uh, within all of the muck and disgusting stuff out there on the Internet. And take it or leave it. You know, if you want to be surrounded by Eeyores, be my guest. It's all good. Um, but I'm not one of those people. So in closing, just be aware of this common issue especially on the internet. The internet just brings the worst out on people, but there are a lot of positive people out there. There are a lot of really, really good people. Most of them won't be the kind of people that are gonna leave YouTube comments. They're not gonna put out a bad Google review. Uh, the one-star Google reviews, a lot of these people, are, they're just miserable, okay? I accept that, it's all good. If you have a tendency to think negatively, give me a call, come on down. Let's, let's, let's have a chat and maybe a, Maybe we can learn from each other. So until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.